Are you struggling with a lot of different tasks to managing your business and everything feels important? I'm gonna share five productivity practices that will help you improve your business, grow your sales, and feel more productive. Hello, I'm Jamila Payne, creator of the Daily Success Routine Planning Process. And so let's jump right into those five productivity methods that you can use today. First is to plan your day the night before. Too often we start out our day trying to figure out exactly what we're gonna do. If you're getting up in the morning or getting to the office and then starting to decide what's gonna be on your to-do list, then you're already setting yourself behind. You really wanna wake up and know exactly what you're gonna be focused on or get to the office and know exactly what you're gonna be focused on in a given day. I promise you, if you always spend your time setting out your day, the day of, you already feel behind because you either feel like you can't take the time to do what you would need in order to figure out what the priorities are, or you just don't have enough time to do it. Okay, number two is that you wanna spend the first hour of your day focused on your 90-day vision. In the daily success routine planning process, we talk about setting 90-day goals that will really help you achieve more in your business and life. So it's important in order to make that 90-day goal really happen that you actually spend the first hour of your day, what we call your hour of power, in order to make something big and juicy, take some big juicy action towards that 90 day vision. Number three is that you want to um, have daily outreach. We use a practice called three by three, that's three calls by three o'clock where you're focused on your sales, marketing and PR efforts. When you're having this consistent outreach in your business on a daily day, on a day to day basis, you can ensure that you can connect with your ideal customers. Four is to time block your schedule. Now, you may have heard this concept of time blocking, but I'm gonna tell you that there is really an extra step that you need to do. Traditionally, people talk about time blocking as setting up certain hours of the day where you focus on different activities. You may have heard people say to time block is to say, okay, from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., I'm going to focus on my financial bookkeeping efforts. And from 12 to 2 p.m., I'm going to focus on developing content for my business. Well, that is a great start. However, it's not enough. The way that is really important to do time blocking is that you actually look at first the amount of time that you have available in a day. Well, if you know that you have two or three meetings scheduled in a particular day, instead of having eight or 10 or 12 hours available work to work, you may only have five hours available to work. Where planning often goes wrong or where productivity often goes wrong is that people will create a to-do list of seven items or more and then they're only ever able to cross off one or two. You start feeling defeated at the end of the day. Why didn't I get more done? This time blocking strategy will help you. So you first start by looking at the amount of time that you have available in a day. If that's five hours, then you're gonna look at your to-do list and you're gonna get focused on it. We call this focus finder. You're gonna find your focus by only listing on your focus finder exactly what you can do and the time you have available. So if you have five hours available, then you can pick just a few tasks that you know that you can complete or almost complete in that five hours of time that you actually have available. And then finally, number five, and this is so often forgotten, especially by entrepreneurs, is self-care. I like to use the process, and we talk about this in the daily success routine, of setting a soul goal. A soul goal is something that you're gonna do every single day 
for yourself, to fulfill yourself. It's something that you are constantly filling up your cup because as long as your cup is overflowing, you have more to give to others, you have more to give to your business. So think about those books that have been sitting on your nightstand forever and set a soul goal of expending a small amount of time, even if that's all you have available, 10 or 15 minutes before you go to bed or in the morning, or maybe you take yourself a lunch break and spend the time then and actually get to read those books that you've been dying to get to. So there you have it, five productivity tips, five productivity practices actually that will help supercharge your business. So I'll run through them really quick. One is to plan your day the night before. Number two is to focus your first hour of the day on your 90-day vision. Number three is to do daily outreach, three calls by three o'clock every day towards your sales, marketing, and PR efforts. Number four is to time block your schedule based on the hours you actually have available. And number five is to set that soul goal. What are you gonna do to care for yourself? Again, I'm Jamila Payne, creator of the Delhi Success Routine. You can find out more at ideasactiondesign.com. Thanks so much for listening today. Stay tuned for the next video.